Go No Warriors. It's your boy, Lionheart, and I'm back. Feels good, man. We're not gonna waste any time. We're getting straight into this thing. So once again, I want to say thank you to everybody for liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting, sending me your messages and comments. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. My YouTube wasn't working properly, so I wasn't, I'm not been able to like upload and do everything or reply to comments. But now I've got my YouTube working, right? I do have to do some like funniness in order to get it working, but at least it's working. So I'm going to be checking my comments and replying to comments and once again, Thank you, because I see that even though I've not been doing videos, you guys are amazing. They've still been subscribing and supporting, and it means everything. Thank you. And you are going to love me for this one if you play Cyberpunk, yeah? This damn diving suit that you come across, and then it locks you. You get action blocked, and then you can't change your equipment or do anything, and you run around that city looking like a complete goofy dummy. And you're pissed, especially when you're trying to chat up Pan Am and you know you look like a clown while you're doing it, right? So, let's talk about how to solve this. Because I have done a search on YouTube, Google, and I found posts and videos of how to solve this, but they don't actually tell you how to do it on the PS4. A lot of them, like I think it was only like literally only two or three, and they were how to deal with another outfit that can cause that issue but it's easy to solve that one you unequip your equipment right um, before you could unequip the actual special outfit and i think the other one was the diving suit but it was a different glitch and you could solve it from a pc and that same thing does not work on the console version the ps4 ps4 pro and the ps5 version so, um, and the same thing, because I had the same kind of problems where there was a mad glitch or things not explained properly in Witcher 3. And I did a video of that and it was thousands, tens of thousands of people had that same issue, but there was no video on how to resolve the issue. And it's the same thing like this, because I've seen a lot of videos with tens of thousands of views, but they don't explain this particular glitch on how to solve it for the console so here i am once again so i'm going to split this video into three parts the first part is going to be a short one which is going to take less than a minute to explain how to solve it that like the steps that you have the missions you have to do to solve it then i'm going to do a little bit of a detailed version it's going to take no more than two minutes to explain that version and then i'm going to go into a gameplay which is going to be the bulk of this video so about I'll say up from this video, from this point here, by six minutes, I'll have uh, this begin of this video, which I've got another less than two minutes to ex less than three minutes to explain it. The rest of it onwards is going to be gameplay, showing from a mission to mission and completion and showing you the results. Let's go. So, first of all, the short version of explanation is you have to do the main story up to mission 21 which is called life during wartime which is basically pan am story once you've completed pan am story uh, mission 21 then you have to do a side job 18 and then side job 18 is called i fought the law now the way you activate that mission is you have to be on the second tier of street cred and then you have to be in westbrook haywood yeah or the city center and once you're in that area, just keep wandering about. And then a woman called Elizabeth Perez is going to call you. Answer her phone call. Go meet her. And then they're going to tell you to get into a car. Trust me. Get in the car. Take the mission. Do the brain dance. Once you've done the brain dance, they're going to give you the details of a police officer called River. Trust me. Call him. Yeah. Once you call him, go meet him. Do the mission, complete the mission. I fought the law, yeah? Once you've done that, um, you will have to teleport to Japantown because the next mission that you have to do is called, is a side job, 61, called Sweet Dreams. Now that mission will not pop up unless you teleport to um, Japantown, the Cherry Blossom Market. Once you do, there's gonna, you literally just walk to the side 
yeah, towards the um, market. And there's going to be a guy standing right next, literally next to the teleport point called Stefan. You talk to him, sweet dreams will pop up, complete that story mission chain. It's so easy and straightforward. It's, it's a good mission. It's very interesting for the story and um, just shows you the law of that world. And then you've unequipped everything and you can get your equipment back, get your money back and you're done. Bosh, that's it. So that is an explanation. That's my short explanation and the longer explanation of what you have to do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a gameplay breakdown of how to do it. I'm going to start the mission from I Fought the Law, which is the side job. I'm going to start from the ending of I Fought the Law because the main mission is easy. It's just the main story mode. Follow it until you get to a story called Life During Wartime. If you've already done that mission, just go into your journal and go through your completed missions. If you see that you've completed I Fought the Law, cool! All you need to do now is just go to Westbrook and Haywood or the city centre. Wander about until Elizabeth Perez calls you. Yeah? That simple. Now... We're going to go into the gameplay, yeah, from I Fought the Law. And, yeah, my future self will now take it away. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Sure. Okay. Thanks. What's going on, Warriors? So, I thought I would do a video showing the gameplay just to break it down as well because the last time I did a video of my Witcher series please have a seat thanks uh I didn't do gameplay and even though I thought it was straightforward because you know you just follow the storyline a lot of people were confused so I thought you know what yeah let me not underestimate how potentially complicated this can be even though I don't think it is at all Right, as you can see here, action blocked. This is the swimsuit, the diving suit that I got from, um, I found it. If you're like me and you're just doing a little bit too much exploration in the world, very early on in the game, you would have come across this diving suit, which was in a box in some desolate part of Night City. Try it on, you're done. And you don't even realise it until you try to take it off. Which I was pretty screwed on because I didn't even realise I was locked into it. By the time I had realised, I was too far into the game. Done way too much progress. Had gone up like 11 levels and got so much equipment and done uh, quite a few missions. Couldn't unequip it. Screwed. Thanks. So, you know, had to keep it on. Tried to Google, how can I take it off? Nowhere. No video was showing it. Some people did have some type Good of you, uh, ways round it, but it was for the PC. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all here. And it was for the PC, and it was not. It's not a hundred percent clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is, but. Yeah, I got some idea. It wasn't addressing how we do it on the console. Ryan was murdered at a sex club. Someone gave him a virus spike BD. You sure? Yeah, same BD almost wiped me. So yeah, I'd say I'm sure. Got any idea who did it? Can't say for sure, but a lot of things point to Weldon Holt. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just uh, strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt and up our security. You're right, as always. You're right. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Yeah. I actually like this storyline. This storyline is actually godlike. Really, really good. So, uh, this mission is called I Fought the Law, as you can see. Now, to finish it, it says leave the building because this is the ending of the mission. Uh, and the way you get this mission up 
I thought the law is you have to complete the main mission, get up to mission 21, which is called Life During Wartime, which is you know you're on that uh, storyline when you get up to the part where you have to contact Pan Am and just follow Pan Am's story. Yeah, that is the most godlike storyline in the game. Like, unbelievable. She, Pan Am is the best character in this game, free. But as I said many times before, one character cannot save a game. Alright. So, you just go through the game, the main game. As I said, complete um, mission 21. And then you'll get this mission. You'll be in Night City, right? Um, you have to be in Westbrook, right? Or Haywood. Uh, or in Central City, right? Once you're there, you have to be on the second tier of street cred. And then you'll get a phone call from Elizabeth Perez. And then that will introduce her storyline. She'll call you, meet her, go to where she is, right? And get in the car, trust me, take the job, you know, do the brain dance and everything like that. And then after that, you call River, you'll do River's storyline, yeah, and what was part of I Fought the Law, yeah, um, yeah, just keep following it. And as you saw what I did there, after I completed I Fought the Law, I teleported to Japantown, Cherry Blossom hey, Market. Hey, you there? Hey, you dig rain dancers? Hey, feast your optics right here, yo. Got you see the right meanest, here, you're going to see this guy right here, scroll. Stefan. And then the mission will just come up because this mission is not in your brief. Sweet dreams, you have to find this guy got? to activate it. As I just showed you how to do it. The second you finish, the most out, turned up. I thought the law teleport to Japan Town Cherry Blossom Market, and you have to have at least a second tier of street cred. Come on, uh, in Westbrook, Haywood, no or Central City. Stuff I got's way too legit to be legit. Feel me? And you do have to have a bit of money, see, so you have to pay um, 16000 All right, you got my attention. <laughs> Knew you couldn't resist. Virtues Which are I, all I'm yours. not too sure whether that's expensive or not. You use my plate. As you see, I've got like no so need. much money. You got my own wreath. Of course you do. Probably top show, latest firmware. Because of like the right? money glitch that I did in this, this game. There's like a money glitch. So it was like easy to get money. money. Why not? Let's run and I just paid yours. an additional 4,000, which huh? makes 20,000 in the total. You're about to experience? I'll be bouncing off the motherfucking walls. Come on. I got my setup just round the counter. And it's so interesting because I thought the law that will not pop up if you're not in Westbrook, Haywood, or Central City. You won't get the phone call from Elizabeth. So it's kind of cool, man. And then it leads you into like, and it's a long storyline, like a really good one. See, Cherry Blossom Market is where I teleported straight after I did I thought the law. See, look. Sweet Dreams, meet Stefan, Japan Town. Bosh, can't make it any clearer than that. Yeah? All right, so this is where we are. And this is kind of crazy, man. So let me just show you. See, we have this idiot looking outfit. We go throughout the whole game looking like a fool. Can't unequip it. Action blocked. Can't do anything. Can't drop it. Can't unequip it. Can't swap it out. Nothing. Can't take off my normal equipment to change my look or nothing. So I'm just running around looking like a fool. So annoying, especially doing Pan Am storyline, looking like that. 
Hey, this is my rig. Hey, take all the time you need. All right. So, we go in here, do the brain dance. Yeah? And watch the magic. Just like me, isn't it? Getting trapped in the brain of Night City's dumbest merc. Whatever, Johnny. Uh, what? What happened? Look around and connect the dots. Oh, scabs. Shit. I can't believe I got conned. So your brain isn't completely fried to a crisp. That's good. Time to wake up, because you're about to be breakfast. <laughs> Johnny Silver Handman, this guy, man, he is like the most godlike interaction in this in this game, man. Other than Pan Am, you recognize this place? We've seen this place before, haven't we? That's right. This is the beginning of the game. This mission is essentially uh, where you save that woman. That was in the bathtub. Your Where'd first you mission. Go, you remember when you had to come here and you had to save that woman in the bathtub? And you're with Jackie? It was the E3 demo. Unbelievable. These same guys, they basically come... Um, they find you. Right? And they get you. It's revenge. I remember you, you take that woman. Um, Sandra... And trauma team takes her away. This is this this is the area. Sandra Dorset was her name. And you even hear these guys talk about something about it. Listen. Hey, you know this is the shit stay that came in here guns blazing a while back. Ah, that time with the Valentino look. That's the one. Looks like it's time for payback. Yeah? Payback, yeah? Huh? So I've got like an ability that can make the people... I could hack their cyberware and make them commit suicide. So he's about to kill himself. Break this guy's neck ah! real quick. Fuck! Bitch. And actually, you can actually do a storyline with the the woman that you save here, Sandra Dorset, it's unbelievable. It's proper cool, man. The, just the fact that you could do the, her storyline, you just see what she's doing now and how she's doing and everything like that. Like this game, it's got like a main story, but it's not about the main story of this game. It's about it's like tales of Night City. It's about the people, it's about the inhabitants of Night City. And a lot of the missions you do in this game is about how are the people in Night City? How are they doing in this area? You know? Like, when the game works, man, the game is pretty good, man. This game would have been really well received Shut if it was just if they didn't anyone. hype it up. Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. If Cyberpunk didn't hype up the game beyond hype up, there would have been no the level of disappointment would not be as substantial as it is. Do you know what I mean? Of course, like the bugs and the graphics and the crashing. And the skills that don't work and it being buggy. Right, but it wouldn't have been that bad if they never hyped it up as much as they did. Cause when the same works, man, look, I'll be honest, man, I have I have fun. But the bugs are just so distracting. Bitch. Yeah, I do like um, doing stealth in this game. I, I'm i more of a hacker in this game than I am an all-out brawler. You know, I like to hack people. So, look, you see these guys here? There's three of them. I don't have any equipment on me. 
So what I could do is I'm going to hack them. Right, and there's an ability called cyber psychosis, which basically means you hack their their technology, you hack their brains, yeah, their implants. And with this one, I'm going to make it go um, psychotic, which is going to make him attack everyone and anyone around him. And I'm going to do that. And then, just so that he can take her out, I'm going to make her blind. You see, so I hacked the woman so that she is, um, so she can't see. Fuck the bitch! And I just chill. Because at this minute, I'm naked. You're actually naked. You've got no clothes, no equipment. They just literally kidnapped you and threw you inside that um, water. Jesus. She came out of nowhere. Oh, there was another one that came in there. Yeah, yeah, another one came in there. So you see, there was one person that came into the bathroom, but they didn't know I was there. They were just hiding. And I made, I made her commit suicide by hacking her. And there's two people left. I still don't have any equipment or nothing in it, so... Make her go cyber psychosis. Make her attack her own friend. Bosh. Это ты до меня доебался? It's kind of cool how they make things intertwined in this game. Like this is the mission from the first, this is like pretty much the area from the first mission in the game. You know these people because you killed their people from before and you saved Sandra. So it's something that is familiar, it's a tiny little detail, but it's just, it's cool. It's a good reuse of an area, integrating story. And just created a feel for the world of Night City. And you have to remember the whole point of doing this is getting your equipment back. And look what it says there in Sweet Dreams. Find and retrieve your equipment. And that's optional. That's crazy. Why would it be optional? I think maybe because it's optional is because maybe at this point of the game they wouldn't expect you to have good gear. So anything you did have would be throwaway. But not for me. <laughs> yep, make her go crazy. We'll find you and we'll chop you into fucking. Yeah. yeah. Well if I do that to you first. Some fuckers on my ass! Go attack your own comrades for a minute. While I ransack your area, you fool. So while they're doing that, we are going to get our equipment. Now watch. So look, see my character? I was stuck with a diving suit, right? Gone. Gone, mate. All empty slots. That is how you unequip the diving suit. So look, and everything is in there. Take all your equipment back, bro. You even get all your money back as well. Sweet.
Bosh. Yeah. Look at this, dude. Look at this. Oh, man. And I'll be honest with you, I forgot what your character can look like. I just clean forgot because I've been running around looking like a fool for most of the game because I got that diving suit like proper early in the game man I just did like a lot of exploration because I got like a cool looking car and from the minute I got the car I just went around mad areas See this? Never ever equip it. You can't get rid of it, which is frustrating, right? So my idea is anything that says special, leave it out. Just don't touch it. Anything that comes with a bodysuit or anything like that, I just discard it. There we go. Done. Done and done. And that is it. From now, you've got all your equipment. You've got your equipment back. You've got your money back that you spent, the 20000 that you spent on um, Stefan. You've got all your guns back, your legendary items, legendary iconics, your epic iconics, your equipment. See, this is weird. I didn't equip any guns. So you, even what you're seeing now is like the glitch. Like, it's really weird. Did you notice when I first come with him and he was naked, I had that gun equipped. But I didn't have any guns. I don't know. No idea. So yeah, just get kitted out. Get your guns. Alright. They just killed my soldier. My subordinate. Yeah. Look at the boy. He looks like a proper net runner. Like a proper agent. A cyber agent. I like it. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Should have asked if he hadn't used hypos for sale. Fuck off, Johnny. What could go wrong? Not now, Johnny. He does make me laugh, man. He's pretty cool, man, but. Now look bad, Johnny, man. Look what he's just sitting there. He's like he's just, just standing there. He's just not impressed at all, man. He's not impressed by you at all, mate. That did judge. Look at where he's just standing against the wall, looking at you, judgmental. Like you are stupid, man. Hey, yeah. The fuck? fuck you. Yeah. Oh. Geez. Another one is a bomb. Hold it. Jesus. Jesus, what? Is that a, is that a human? Oh, shit! What are they doing to him, man? Oh, they're ripping out his... Oh, spy, they're ripping... Uh, that's what they're gonna do to me. Man, I hate this guy. Cowardly? Oh, shit. Yeah? How's that? Brain surgery. How's that for cowardly shit? Fool. All right, see, we'll clear this area. Got out of here. Woo. I actually forgot where to go. Because I've already done this mission, but I've literally just redid it. I reloaded a save point close to this. 
just so that I could do this for this video. There was no real point to me doing it from a Pan Am story because that would have made this video even longer. And I would not have rushed through that because I like to chill out and hang out and talk with Pan Am. What's up, Johnny? Well, well, looks like fortune favors oh, the stupid off, too. Now what? I'm going to ask for a refund. He's always cussing me out, man. If he was talking about somebody else, then I'd find it funny. My man's like, looks like fortune favors the stupid. He never going to let you live that down for falling for that. You essentially paid to be kidnapped. And it's the way like, you're in the bath and then he just wakes up and says, just like me, isn't it? To be stuck inside the mind of Night City's dumbest merc. Bloody hell, Johnny, man. He got some good lines, bro. Okay. Summon my ride. This is my nomad. My nomad vehicle. I like the nomads in it in this game. Like when I'm, when I play through this game again, and I will play this game again on the PS5 once they fixed it. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go to the nomad nomad path. Because of uh, Pan Am and the Aldocados. I think that's how you say the name. But look at this vehicle, man. It's like you're, you're, you're the inside of like a, a cockpit of a futuristic spaceship, dude. I do think that's weird how the music is not playing because there was music playing during this section. But they edit it out. There's like a function that edited, edits out the music because of like copyrights and stuff like that. The, the driving was like really weird in this game, man. But I've actually just got used to it. And I actually like the music and the driving and going through the city. Although you can't see the road, as you can see, you can hardly see the road, dude. But the way I managed to get past that is I just drive slow. Before it was I was just driving too fast. But I realized what you gotta do is just drive slow. If you drive slow, it's not that hard. So we we have finished it basically. We finished it, but we've got to pay a visit. Remember this place? This is the cherry blossom area, cherry blossom market. And this is our friend Stefan. Sup, bro? Sup, man? Remember me? I'd like a refund. Yeah. <laughs> hey, holy shit, you! You good? That's the place that we were. After you booted up that virtue, you started glitching out and save your breath. You conned me. Piece you of knew shit. what you were doing. You wanna yeah. know what I do though? Mm -hmm. You wanna know who you cross? Now hold up, yo. Let's all be chill for a second. I'll let you go just this once. Give him that hope. Why? Give him for that real? hope. Oh, oh god. Yeah? Snuff it. Give him that hope and take it away, you bitch. How dare you cross me? How dare you? Let's get out of here, dude. Mission done. So, yeah, that was just how you do it. How you get rid of that diving suit. How you get your equipment back. And whatever you do, never equip that diving suit again. And yeah, so essentially, as I said before, you do Mission 21, Lifetime Duel of War, which is the main storyline with Pan Am. Then you do the side job 18, I Fought the Law, and then the side job 61, Sweet Dreams. And 
drive off into the sunset. All right, Warriors, that was it. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. Take care. Stay blessed. <laughs>